Greetings, Go Church. My name is Jeff Merriman, Executive Pastor of Administration at our broadcast campus. Today's devotional takes us to Luke chapter 5, verse 12, and a man with leprosy who made his way to Jesus and who by faith proclaimed that if Jesus was willing, he could make the man clean. Jesus responded to the man's faith and said, I am willing, and reached out and touched him, and immediately the man was made clean. And the thing that I want us to see is that the man and Jesus both used the word clean and not healed, because a leper in those days was considered ceremonially, physically, and spiritually unclean. And anyone unclean was put outside the camp, away from the presence of God, the worship of God, and the people of God. They were considered outcasts of society and were relegated to a life of isolation and loneliness. It was the consequences of being unclean. But even worse, anyone with leprosy literally had a death sentence hanging over their lives because with leprosy came certain death because there was no cure for the condition. And it's why the man pleaded with Jesus to be made clean. So the sentence of death and separation would be lifted, and so he could come into fellowship with God and man. And the reason I'm bringing this devotion is because all through Scripture, sin is likened to leprosy, because in the same way it separates us from fellowship with God and the family of God, and because it comes with a certain sentence of eternal death. For the wages of sin are death, the Bible says, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ, who is the only cure for our sinful condition. Because he who knew no sin became our sin, so that we could become the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. And all we have to do is come to Christ by faith, just like the leper, and ask to be made clean. And the Bible says that if we confess our sins, he, God, is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, bringing us into fellowship with God and removing sin's death sentence from our lives. So as I close this out, let's go to the Lord in prayer and ask him to make us clean. So Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to dive into your word this morning. But most of all, we thank you that through grace, through Jesus Christ, we have the ability to confess our sins and to be made clean. So we do that this morning, God. We pray that you would take our sins, which are like scarlet, and make them white as snow, so that we can have right fellowship with you and have any curse or death sentence over our life lifted, and that we would have life and life more abundantly through Jesus Christ. Amen.